Hello and welcome to the course of manufacturing um, uh, uh, process, material science and manufacturing process. So in this course we are talking about, uh, we will be teaching about uh, your uh, types of the pattern. Uh, we will be teaching about types of pattern, pattern allowance and color, color coding. So these things we will teach. So in this lecture what we will do? So in this class, in this class or in this lecture, we are studying about types of pattern, pattern allowances, and the color coding. So that what we are studying. So let's start our lecture. So with lecture objective, the lecture objective of this lecture is to understand about the pattern, about the patterns to know about the patterns so we will understand about the types of the pattern then we will know about the pattern allowances what are the allowances why they are given and how the allowances value varies then we will get an insight of the pattern making tool uh, using what tool we can make the patterns and then we understand about the color coding that are used in pattern making so uh, that is what we are, uh, what we will study in this whole lecture. So let's start. So first, what are the pattern type? There are various types of patterns. Okay. So in various in those types of patterns, uh, uh, in those type of patterns, uh, uh, a, a first come the single piece pattern. Single piece pattern is used. Single piece pattern is used for uh, simple shape and large castings. Okay. In case of single piece pattern, uh, the uh, pattern is made in a single piece. Okay. The pattern and the cavity is produced by uh, a, uh, pattern and the cavity is produced by it uh, uh, are completely in the lower flux that is in drug so in case of single piece pattern the whole pattern is uh, made in uh, in the drag or lower flux and it has it cause it cause uh, it causes difficulty in making the mold uh, so it causes difficulty for uh, m making the mold so in single piece pattern it is used for only in the case of simply simple shaped and large uh, this is used for simple shaped and large castings so this is the pattern the pattern this is the this is your single piece pattern and this you from this figure you can see it is completely made on the drag or and in the cope box there is only a uh, Brew and pouring basin. So this is called single piece pattern. Next there is split patterns. In split patterns, uh, split pattern models, uh, models that uh, the, the in split pattern model, the part as two uh, models the part as two separate pieces. The split pattern models the part as two separate pieces that meet along the parting line of the mold of the that meet along the parting line of the mold and two parts are uh, aligned by do dual pin so this two part is aligned by dual pin so this type of pattern is used for uh, for most co complex shape of the pattern for complex shape and this is uh, in this type of the pattern both cope and drag uh, is uh, used for m making the mold so uh, the uh, upper part that is in the cope part the the part uh, pattern which is in the cope part is known as cope pattern and the pattern which is in the drag part is, is known as drag pattern now uh, another type of pattern that is loose pattern the what is loose pattern as per the name the loose pattern contain one or more than one loose piece loose piece is used to make uh, to uh, loose piece is used to make uh, make uh, uh, removal of the pattern from the um, uh, 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 removal of the pattern easily 
from the mold box so that is the use of the loose piece loose pieces are attached with the main body and uh, the with the help of dual pins or wires so first the main pattern is drawn into the uh, and the, the and then carefully the loose uh, first the main pattern is drawn and then the carefully the loose piece, loose pieces molded with the pattern uh, with this pattern so molding with this pattern is expensive and require very large amount of the skill so first uh, in case of loose piece pattern what is happen so first the um, loose piece uh, first the whole pattern is moved so there is some loose piece that is present in the pattern so this loose piece is given for easy removal of the pattern see from here it is to re easy removal for easy removal of the pattern this loose piece is given and this loose piece this loose piece uh, this first the pattern is removed first the pattern is removed after that very carefully this loose piece is removed from the mold cavity so this is very expensive type of pattern and uh, it required very high level of skill next is match plate pattern in case of match plate pattern it is similar to the split pattern except that the each of the pattern is attached to opposite sides of a single plate so uh, this in case of match plate pattern the uh, the uh, it is the split pattern but in this case in this case each half of the pattern is attached to the opposite side of a single plate so that is it, it each half of the pattern is uh, each is attached with the single uh, uh, plate so match plate confirms uh, the parting line so in case of uh, split pattern what we, we can see a parting line but in case of match plate pattern there is no parting line so that's why it ensures proper alignment of the mold cavities in the cope and drag and drag and the runner system can be into induced and the runner system can be can be induced on the match plate so that is it so it ensures proper proper alignment of the mold cavities in the cope and drag and the runner system can be induced on the match plate uh, on the match plate uh, uh, on the match plate and it is used for larger production quantities this is used for larger production quantities ic engines and piston rings ic engines and piston rings can be made by using the uh, this match plate patterns match plate patterns okay so ic engine and piston ring can be made using this match plate patterns next is cope and drag pattern this type of the pattern is similar to the uh, split pattern each half of the pattern is attached to a separate plate and the mold have hubs are made independently the mold hubs are made independently patterns is made of made in two hubs and split along the parting line the these two hubs is known as coop and drag and uh, uh, there are molding done the mo their molding is done independently after the molding they are assembled to form uh, the complete mold box uh, this is often desirable for this this type of the pattern is often desirable for uh, for your uh, uh, large larger casting so here uh, this uh, example of cope and drag pattern has been shown now another pattern is there that is called gated pattern in that gated pattern uh, the gate and the runner riser are permanently attached to the regular pattern they are used to manufacture multiple casting on the time uh, uh, on the time uh, on uh, casting in on time each pattern is connected with a common runner and it is suitable uh, for pouring small casting in and for mass production it saves labors and time so that is the use of the gated pattern now we are coming to the pattern these are the types of the pattern now we are moving to the next topic that is pattern allowances so what is 
pattern allowances so what is pattern first pattern is a replica of our desired shape now this pattern is not exactly same as the uh, as the dimension that are given from the drawing or at our as our desired shape some modification of the dimension has been done for various functionality for example for example that the metal the molten metal sinks as it solidifies so this shrinkage should be compensated by using the pattern so that's why it allowances that is called shrinkage allowance or concentration allowance is given similarly for easy removal of the pattern from the mold cavity the pattern should be tapered so those taper is given by draft or taper allowances so and another thing is that after the casting is over after the casting after the material is solidification is done the uh, finishing can be done by machining only so in the material there should be machining or finish allowance so machining or finish allowance should be there fourth is distortion or camber allowance so there there is a chance of distortion distortion why because of the bouncy of the material because because of the bouncy force there is a chance that mold cavity mold cavity will distort that bouncy force of the molten metal the uh, mold cavity may distort so that's why distortion allowance should be given third ripping allowance this ripping allowance uh, next is fifth is ripping allowance that should be given so these are the type of pattern allowances those should be there in the uh, in the uh, pattern so this modification these modifications are known as pattern allowances so uh, first shrinkage allowances there are two type of the shrinkage first one is liquid shrinkage next solidification shrinkage and third one is solid shrinkage in case of liquid shrinkage and solidification shrinkage these two shrinkage can be con uh, compensated by using riser riser what is riser risers are also called feeder the, the riser can feed the molten material when it needed that means in the time of uh, liquid uh, in the time of getting to the ambient temperature getting to the uh, solidification temperature and in the time of solidification the amount of material that is shrinked that can be compensated by using the molten material that is present in the riser so riser can be used as a feeder so uh, these two uh, can be these two type of shrinkage can be compensated using riser but uh, solidification uh, the but the solid shrinkage solid shrinkage cannot be the solid shrinkage cannot be uh, uh, cannot be compensated by riser so for the solid shrinkage only there is some shrinkage uh, allowance so these are the value of the shrinkage allowance uh, uh, the volumetric solidification how much contract contraction re occurred in the various material is has been shown here now see for shrinkage allowance shrinkage means the contraction of the metal on solidification all the metal shrink after solidification the, it is expressed in millimeter per minute shrinkage allowance differs from materials per materials and it is the positive type of the allowance so here some of the uh, shrinkage allowance for some of the materials is given in this table you may go through it and now draft or taper allowance so draft or taper allowance taper is provided by the pattern uh, pattern maker on the vertical surface of the pattern so that it can be easily removed from the sand without the tear without tearing away the side of the sand mold so that is why the taper is given the inner details of the taper require higher dra draft than the outer surface so most commonly applied draft allowance is uh, your 1 to 3 degree and due to draft allowance pattern can be easily removed from the box so that is why pattern uh, is uh, draft allowance is given draft allowance is given for easy removal of the material so here an angle is given that angle varies from 1 to 3 degree now the amount of the draft depend upon the length of the vertical size of the pattern 
that can be extra that to be extracted the intricity of the pattern that means how much complex the shape is the method of molding what molding method we are taking and the pattern material depending upon these things we have to uh, choose the draft allowance the pattern uh, draft allowance for different material is given here uh, given uh, in this table so for wood and metal and plastic the draft allowance is given now machining or finishing allowance the finish and the accuracy in the sand casting is generally poor extra material is provided in the on the casting to enable their machining or finishing to the required size accuracy and surface finish so it is added in the pattern dimension this allowance is provided only in the machining area the amount of machining uh, allowances depends upon the five terms five things those are method of molding and casting use what are the method and the molding of the uh, casting method of molding and the casting use size and shape of the casting casting orientation metal used in casting degree of accuracy and finish requirement how much surface finish do we have required depending on these things we can have the degree of accuracy and that is and finish requirement so that is uh, for our uh, machining allowances so these things uh, these terms these are the terms where the machining allowance for various materials is given now distortion or chamber allowance due to the typical shape such as u shape v shape t shape and l shape casting may be distorted during solidification this distortion is observed in an in irregular casting so that it shrink in uneven manner and distortion are caused by internal stresses which are generated on the account of unequal cooling of the different section of casting and to avoid this distortion allowance is provided so it allowance the allowance varies from 2 to 20 mm so this is our this is called uh, uh, this is called your distortion allowance now ripping or shake allowance before the withdrawing of the sand from the sand mold the pattern is ripped all around and the vertical faces to enlarge the mold cavity slightly this will felicitate the, its removal so when the pattern is ramped, wrapped uh, mold cavity is enlarged to account this increase pattern size should be reduced so ripped allowance wrap allowance or shake allowance that is given in case of uh, for easy removal of the material and this wrap allowance and shake allowance is our uh, this wrap allowance and shake allowance is our uh, uh, um, uh, negative allowance here the pattern size of the pattern is somewhat smaller than the desired shape the amount of the wrap allowance depends on the extent of wrapping degree of complexion of the sand size of the mold and the sand type so the, now we will see about so these are about pattern allowance now we will see about the some of the tool those are used in case of pattern making the tools those are used in case of pattern making includes carpental tool and some special tool so all the carpentry tool are used here but there is some special tools are also used such as concentric uh, contraction scale it is used to measure the pattern dimension and include various allowances it is a metallic scale see this is your contraction scale it is a metallic scale of 300 to 500 mm length next is combination set the combination set is uh, is uh, generally used uh, for pattern making it is uses to measure the angle perpendicularity and to locate the center of a cylindrical job see this is your combination set this combination set is used for uh, for uh, measuring the angle perpendicularity locate the center and to locate the center of a cylindrical job third one is calipers 
these are the calipers these are the outside calipers inside calipers and simple calipers are shown here uh, they are used as internal and external type they used to generally used to measure the internal and external diameters of the pattern so internal and external diameters of the pattern has been uh, uh, has been um, measured by using these uh, tools now there are another tool that is ratchet brace this is used to drill hole horizontal and in the vertical plane that is ratchet brace wheel brace is there this is also used for produce small hole it can drill small holes uh, with a, 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 a small holes accurately uh, with uh, uh, precision and back saw and plane so the back saw they are used for certain the parting operation so this back saw and these planes are used for certain backing uh, uh, parting operations now for color coding so pattern are colors by using shellic paint and the colors have gives the protection and identifies the feature of the pattern the color scheme are given below so black color is given to the pattern for unfinished surface on the casting red is the given to the pattern to for finished surface in the casting yellow is given to the core print black is given to the parting surface red and yellow strips is given to the uh, place where uh, the where is the seat for loose piece is given so that is it for pattern and pattern color scheme so um, uh, these are these color scheme should be remembered and these are very important so um, thank you now uh, i hope you enjoy this lecture and if you have any problem you may ask in in uh, you may ask in the live class thank you